All right, Ed. Another Sunday, another victory. The Cowboys make it three wins in a row. Road wins at that. Welcome back. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ed Nitty Silver and Blue. Where we talk Cowboys all day, every day. Hey, next game, next victory. Look man, I know we shouldn't be counting our chickens, but we are facing another hobbled, weaker team in the New yep. York Giants, and we win this. <laughs> That's three wins in a row to get past that ugly November. All road games and two against divisional opponents and the other is a conference opponent. So, yeah. Big potential game ahead. Cowboys got to win this. Oh, yeah. Not only is it a must win, but this basically will seal the whole division. Yep. Like, without a doubt, we win this game. Division's ours. Home playoff yep. game. Let's get yep. it. Absolutely. So, I mean, this probably might be the most confident I've felt in the past few weeks going in against the opponent because, one, yeah. as ugly as it's been, we have gotten back to that idea of winning. <clears throat> Like consistently, like we haven't had like this back-to-back -back winning since October. Yeah, know. three wins in a row would be nice for the confidence. Oh yeah, and I mean, you know, I shouldn't count my chickens here, but Giants aren't looking so hot injury-wise. Kadarius Tony out with COVID. Well, and more important than their top receiver, Kadarius Tony, dude, Daniel Jones. Oh. Not only has he had like a neck injury, but reading yeah. the reports, it's structural damage. Like, and. Even if the Giants wanted to be optimists, you know, I can't see how any franchise in good confidence would play their, you know, struggling quarterback with structural neck damage on a lost season. On a 4-9 and nine season. <laughs> That's just... That would be uh, terrible. But you know what? Does that really hurt him? I mean, is, is the backup better? Because Daniel Jones hasn't been that good this year at all. Mike Lennon is actually worse. Oof, and not okay. only that, but he is a statue, meaning Micah will be feasting oh like a lion. goodness. Yeah. All hail the hungry lion. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of look at it, you know, a bit of their matchups. I mean, offensively, there's really only one guy that scares me. Yeah, Saquon. Saquon. Yeah. Saquon's looking healthy, <clears throat> and admittedly, a lot of his rushing and passing yardage he gained was garbage time against the Chargers, but yeah. he at least showed that he still has it, and sure. if we don't take him seriously, heck, we might even have to stick Micah on him, honestly, you know, but... Well, they don't need Micah to be an edge rusher this game, I no, don't think, no. uh, with, with Glennon being back there. And as effective as they are with Gregory back and Gallimore, D-Law, I mean, Micah can just play linebacker and keep an eye on Saquon. So, yeah, I agree. And I think that's what we may need to do because he is the one guy that scares me. Like, yeah. he can break open any game. Like, he's that good. I mean, they got some other weapons too, but they're just a dysfunctional mess. Like, you know, their big ticket receiver, Kenny Galladay, he signed that big contract in yeah. frames. He hasn't done anything. You know, and other guys, Sterling Shepard, you know, Darius Slayton, you know, they haven't done much either. They're yeah. kind of just... Well, involved. Daniel Jones. <laughs> he has a lot to do with that. Or uh, Mike Lennon. Take your and pick. And Jason but. Garrett. I think Jason Garrett had a whole lot to do with how shitty their offense is. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Yeah. And, you know, just for whatever reason, they aren't looking good on offense. They might be one of the only few teams looking worse than us. Ooh, and that's, yeah, right that's now. saying something. Uh, this is a chance to make good, though offensively. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we're done talking about their offense. I think we are. But not yet. Let me say that with Glennon back there, they don't need to blitz. They can just rush the four and put crazy pressure on them still because they're so good. Uh, Micah can roll in the middle and do what Micah does and then the rest can just uh, you know beat us with the pass. We dare you. Yeah, I mean outside of Anthony Brown, but even so, like Mike Lennon, if he if Mike Lennon can beat you, we take away Saquon. If Mike Lennon beats you, hey, that's off Damn. to them. Mike Lennon just beat us. Nah, I, I can't see it happen. No. Um, and looking at the defensive side of the ball, they have some decent enough players on their defense, but one of their biggest ones yeah. is um, Leonard, Leonard Williams. Williams. He's their stud Pro Bowl defensive tackle out with an elbow injury. Could be season ending. Ooh. I wouldn't injury <laughs> any injury be season ending at this point for them. I mean, if it's... A, Pretty serious. They're not going to risk bringing something well, in. Well, and that's the other yeah. thing, too. Like, a big thing that I feel 
plays in our favor is Giants don't have that much to play for now. Like, outside of maybe a spoiler for Dallas, like... I was just going to say, but every time these teams, Cowboys are their Super Bowl. We know that. We've seen it happen. The Raiders have gone completely in the tank since their big win on Thanksgiving. Uh, They don't even show up anymore. Uh, This is the one game that the Giants will step up and wouldn't be surprised me if if they hang for about a half just on pure emotion for that reason to try and be the spoiler. Yeah, but they're packing it in. I don't see them playing Daniel Jones. Leonard Williams is out. They're missing a lot of pieces and so it wouldn't surprise me if we went into their building and won. Like everything I expect to. Everything is pointing in our favor that we should win this game. Oh, the game opened at ten and a half. Ten and a half? That's crazy. Um, Dallas should absolutely get their third win in a row. If they don't, it's going to be because Dak is still in whatever funk he's been in, and I'll be seriously concerned at that point. I expect Dak to start coming out of it this week. I really do. And, you know, it's funny. I was actually thinking a lot about the past few weeks. You know, some people have been kind of saying on the internet, like, oh, well, Dallas... Part of why they're even winning is because the teams they're playing aren't that great. Uh, Kyle Allen, Heineke, Taysom Hill. I mean, you play who you're up against. Yeah. And honestly, I almost kind of see it as like a fighter getting back into the groove of things in boxing. Start out with a few weaker opponents <laughs> before you build point. into the big heavyweight title fight. Yeah. You know, this is us building to the playoffs, When you bought man. Fight Night back on your PS2, they didn't start chat fighting... <laughs> Holofield and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, and I, you know what? That's part of the sign of a good team yeah. is beating the teams that you're supposed to beat. And That's true. We've been doing that these past few weeks, and I'm mm-hmm. feeling really good. And if we can win three in a row, that's great momentum. All road building. games, too. That's great momentum building into the playoffs. Yep. So, Ed, prediction time. What do you got? 500 to nothing. Wow. No, uh, like I said, I expect them to get back in the groove offensively. I think Dak's going to start figuring out whatever his issues are. I'm looking at 38 to 17 Dallas. Damn. Big victory. 38 to 17. I like it. I'm calling 29 to 13. You come up with some weird numbers, dude. You know what? I'm filling out that bingo sheet. No, and I'm calling it just on a missed extra point. I just get a feeling that's probably going to end up happening this week. But For the record, none of us have ever got the score right on any of these yet, but this week, 38-17. I'm feeling confident, let me tell you. Hey, and a quick shout-out to Marty, the winner of the uh, Youth Trayvon Diggs jersey for his grandson. Hey, and keep subscribing, y'all. We really appreciate you guys coming in to see our videos. We're going to have something else coming up soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, let us know, Cowboys fans. What do you think about this week? You feeling a big stomp them out 500-0 victory? You feel it might be a little closer? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you did, welcome aboard. We appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the like button, because every time you do, an Eagles fan cries. All right, everybody. See you Sunday, Art.